Hello and welcome back to Keyboard's Tale 4. Watch out, those enemies will wipe the floor with you, so you best uh, clear. If you okay, red is dangerous. I get it. Oh. I was looking for, for for the crosshair in the middle of the screen. There's probably there is one. It's just so tiny. songs about them, but I never thought I'd see one. Okay. Isn't it dangerous? Yeah, it is dangerous. I can see it on the minimap. <laughs> um, please turn back. Thank you. Beware! Adventurers are not your friends. Only the temple has the authority to hunt abominations and arrest evildoers. Vigilantes will not be tolerated. Report any unauthorized hunting to the temple. Yay. Ready! Hit him! And hit him. Really? Oh, I can hit him! Oh. Watch out! That fashion is focusing its hypnotic eye attack. It will kill everyone in front of it if you don't move your adventurers out of the way before it fires. You can also stop an enemy from focusing by hitting them in me with mental damage. Here. Of course it's on the cooldown. Ah. Sure. But of course I can still hit it. That hurts. Move on your word. No targets in range, okay. Okay, but we can heal her. And he's gonna do that again. Pardon. And you can also hit him. Great. Wait again. Aha! Let me just. Yeah. No targets in range. Are you in my way? He really hates me. <laughs> Ready? Stepping by. Ah! I think it positioned me differently than. Wait. Okay, yeah, uh, I needed a second to understand where I am. Where I was standing. Yeah. Grappling rope required. Grappling hoop. Yeah. I can hear something. Ooh, that's a very nice chesty. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we have unlimited. Not you. Yeah. Oh, we mm -hmm. need apprentice rope, so neither of you can wear it. Practitioner. Really? I'm not practitioner, right? Yep. Never mind. Hopefully we'll find a shop. I can sell all the junk. More weird water and but I can see that there's somewhere there. Some somewhere. Something. A 
want a shortcut. Hi. Stay in the camp. Okay. I guess. Pulled apart right in front of me. I didn't know whether to shed a green. Hi. Good to see you safe. Cabbage, carrots, potatoes. Do, uh, do, do you need anything? Cabbage, uh, carrots, and uh, potatoes. Okay. Aye. Take care. Welcome, friend. I'm Reza, and this is Palafax. How can we help you? Uh, what help do you offer? New folks arriving here every day. Driven out of their homes by monsters or paladins or what have you. And they all need to eat and sleep. Oh, I haven't much, but we share what we have. If you need food, it's there. A place to lie down. The houses across the way are safe. And if you're wounded, get in that line there. We'll see to you as soon as we can. How did you come to help out here? It was all chaos here when the attacks started, so somebody had to organise. Me and Palifax here, m my husband, we started finding blankets and food for the rest and, and keeping watch as best we could. Not doing too bad so far, but there's more folk coming in every day. It'll get worse before it gets better. Who is Fal pa Palifax? Ah, my bold, brave husband always manages to find trouble where no one else can. Good thing for a guard, I suppose. Not so easy on his wife, though. Well, at least we're in trouble together this time. Thank you. Help out if you can. We need it. Poor folk. More every day. Where are we going to fit them all? If you need food and healing, see my wife here, Rasa. If you need a blade or some leather on your back, see me. And if you're fit enough, we could use some help holding back the darkness, as the city watch ain't likely to help us down here. You sound a bit bitter about the city watch. And why shouldn't I be? Was with them for 30 years until this Hendred becomes Bishop of the Fatherites. Then all of a sudden being Einar is a sin, fired for worshipping the wrong gods, took my house and tried to burn poor Rasa as a witch. Pooh! Spent half my life arresting the rats that lived in Scarabray below, and now I'm down here helping them. Oh, it's a funny old world, eh? Holding back the darkness. I've got some likely lads patrolling the camp. But what we really need is some hardy souls to go into the dark and clear some streets. Things seem to be breeding in there. Horrible things. Who's Risa? Risa's my wife. Met her at her father's tavern. Oh, she wouldn't look at me at first. But then, well, I guess she got used to me. I won't find a kinder person in all of Keith. I don't know how I got so lucky. What are you selling? Have a look. Thank you. Maybe I'll. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can already see that there are some purple things, green things. I think I can sell you this. Uh, not destroy, sell. No, 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 not instead, but just sell. Um, this is my old stuff. Yeah, I think this is my old stuff. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, thank you. We could get the sword. I think I will. Come on. Thank you. Thanks for looking. And you guys, why do you want to talk? At least some of you. A traveler I met last night confirmed that these horrors are not confined to Scarabre. Monsters and monstrous concurrences are terrorizing Fettercairn and Kamnak and more. And in those towns, as here, the paladins are quick to place blame upon adventurers and the old races. Why are they so blind? 
Do they not know that it has been the adventurers and the old races who have traditionally protected the people when such wars have arisen? Whatever the reason, they seem to be ignoring the true monsters and attacking the very people best equipped to keep them in check. Baffling. You want to talk. What do you want? It... Forgive me, my bile. It is not you who have stirred it, but these cursed clods who broke my best loot and battered me with their offish fists. If you need an instrument, I have a few I am willing to sell. I am trying to raise enough coin to return to the Everwood. The venture has not so far been a success. What clothes were these? A mob, fevered by the Fatherites. They accused me of trying to lure some badish boy into the shadows, then set upon me with fist and boot. Had not a fellow adventurer been passing, I've no doubt I would have hung from their tree. Fortunately, a dwarf named Dalgleish saw my peril and dragged me to safety, taking many blows himself. I am in his debt. Let's see what you have for sale. Not the finest instruments you'll ever find. Just a few I've acquired over the years. Please. Sure. Does it change anything? <laughs> Constitution free. What? Oh, I cannot check my inventory, which eh? is really a shame. Wait, what? <laughs> Um, okay, maybe I can take... Oh, I don't have enough. But thank you, Nas. Ooh. May you have better fortune than your fair friend, Mary. Mm. Uh, do not fear me, friends. I, I, I beg you. Yes, I am a fatherite, but I no longer take orders from Bishop Henred or any of his compatriots. It is they who are not fatherites. For they have abandoned the sword father's tenets. Thus, I have broken with them and come here to this refuge to do what a priest must always do help the helpless and teach those who wish to learn. And tell us more of the sword father. The sword father was a man once, a king of Lestris who valiantly drove out foreign invaders and sacrificed himself for the security of his people. Such was his honor and goodness that he became a god upon his death, and his daughter, known as the Blessed Lady, an all-merciful goddess. Together, they watch over mankind, the Father inspiring them in times of trouble, the Blessed Lady comforting them when the storm has passed. What do you think of Bishop Henred? He did not seem so terrible when first he arrived. Ambitious, yes but still compassionate and with a keen intellect that was never satisfied. Then slowly his mind became less flexible, his fears more consuming and his compassion reserved only for his own kind. Where once the temples helped all, Henred ordered that only the faithful be fed and all others be turned away. It only got worse from there, as you know, and I now fear he has lost his sanity entirely. What caused you to break with the temple? I was reprimanded for aiding a dwarf. And when I defended myself, Henry demanded I give up my ministry. I left without looking back. But I haven't left the true church. Only Henry's church, which is not and shall never be mine. How are you helping here? Well, I, I do what I can. Healing, comforting, feeding, advising. If you are sick or wounded, I will be happy to help you. Can you heal us? Let me see what heals you. Thank you. One of us is interested in learning the holy arts. Can you help? If you seek to channel the power of your god for good works, yes, yes, I, I, I can show you. First, however, I would ask a favor. Some of Henry's so-called paladins have looted sacred relics and are wearing them as medals, it seems. 
As if covering one's self in holy artefacts made one more holy. <laughs> Preposterous. <laughs> I know Paladin Captain Beckwith, who patrols the road near Fetter Cairn, wears one. If you could get it from him, so I may return it to its proper place, I would believe that you have the fortitude and commitment to learn what I have to teach. Okay, thank you. Bless good you, friends. <laughs> so many hurt. Too many dead. Doing something more here. Okay. Now we need two things here. Stay still. You must rest. Okay, it just shows us the those we can talk with. Here we are. I told Orlo not to let anybody in who didn't give him the wildland whistle. Give it a try. You just learned your first song of exploration. Songs of exploration can affect the world in many different ways. Or team. Huh? Hmm? Oh, this one. That's the tune! Welcome, friend. Hello, Robbie. Glad to see you in one piece. One minute. I gotta make a little speech. And this time, I hope we won't be interrupted. All friends, lend me your ears a moment. Well, friends, seems the Fatherites have decided to wipe us adventurers out once and for all. Not sure if they really think we're behind all the murder and mayhem that's been plaguing Scarabray, or if they just want a scapegoat. But either way, if we ever want to live in peace again, we have to prove to those bastard sword priests that we're not the enemy. And the best way to do that is to bring them the enemy. Now, I'm sending messengers to the elves and dwarves to petition their help in this. That help, however, may be long in coming. So we need a few brave souls here and now willing to hunt down whoever's behind this terror and deliver them to the priests. Not just to save Scarabray, not just to save the Adventurers' Guild, but to save the lives of all the elves, dwarves, trow, adventurers, outcasts, and practitioners of magic in Kaith. So, any volunteers? Me, 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 pick me, me. Well, you know where I'll be when you make up your mind. So, okay, I can see people I can talk to, so what's that? If you want something, spit it out. No time for any hemming and hawing. What are you busy with? Aside from listening to Jack doing numpties. I hire out sell swords to them that can afford it. Are you in the market? Okay. Ah, no. Okay, no. Oh, I guess. nothing is it. Waste my time. Hello, friends. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Sir Stephen of Dengler. Can't talk long. Black Hawk and I are flying off to Lestrus soon. Flying? That's right, flying. I ride on the back of a great hawk, crossing land and sea as easy as others cross the street. It's always been a dream of mine to circumnavigate the world, and I'm well on my way. Wait, 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 who is Black Hawk? Black Hawk is the name of my Black Hawk. <laughs> yes, he's a big old bird. Wings wider than the gates of Scarabray. Have him perched on top of Kyralan's tower right now. Uh, but you can't see him. Oh no, I made him invisible so he won't scare the populace. Okay, bye. See you soon. But I do understand his uh, method of naming 
That's so... well. Ah! Another weary soul. Not many creature comforts yet here at the New Guild, but Granny Goodnight and I managed to put a few kegs in a barrow as we were running out. So, how about a drink? Tell me more about the Guild. Ah, in the old days, the Guild was out in the open. A place for treasure hunters, sell swords, and practitioners to find work and tell tall tales. These days, it's the last refuge for anyone who doesn't fit into the Fatherite's narrow little world. Mages, rogues, folk of the old races. They can all have a drink and know they're not going to have any trouble. Well, they could until tonight. Where is Granny Goodnight? <sighs> Didn't he make it? Poor soul. Paladin got her before I could get him. Oh no. No half the bar keeps she was, but I'll do my best. What have you got? It's no much, but... Poor Granny. Ooh, recipe. Mm. Might as well. Thank you. Happy drinking, Fred. Can be quick, but it can be used. Come on, use it. That's better than what we have. What is another one? That means the gate apprentice. Can we go down or up? Yeah, we can. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So, this sage can save the world. I swear, the paladins are worse than the monsters they have. Wait. Yeah. Uh, I swear, the paladins are worse than the monsters they have. In the name of protecting the city, they have tracked many an honest family from their beds and questioned them at length, demanding that they report upon their neighbors' misdeeds and suspicious associations, and threatening to take away their children if they do not. Thus do the paladins breed in Scarabre, a climate of fear, where every man suspects his friends, even his own family, of being a witch or a spy, so that to escape an inquisi inquisition, everyone runs to the temple to inform on their nearest and dearest. It is a sad, dark time. I fear for the soul of the city. Hey. Ah, adventurers! You are so creepy. Off to do a little dungeon crawling, are you? Mm -hmm. uh, makes me wish I were young again. Always plenty of fun to be had in the underworld. <laughs> Good luck down there. Sure, thank you. But... Eh? Okay, things on the minimap can be sometimes quiet. Misleading. Ah, hello. Good to meet fellow seekers of adventure. I am Ekbar Andros, known as Stronghold. It seems I've come to your city in dark times. You are an adventurer? I have sought adventure for many years. First as a mercenary in Sarai, then as a treasure hunter and thief. Then one day in a market in Goash, I heard a song that told of a great sage trapped in an endlessly repeating dream. The song said that if the sage was freed from his dream, he would turn the world from the path of ruin. And I, suddenly feeling I had unwittingly been treading just such a path, decided I would find the sage and wake him and help him to save the world. I had been seeking him ever since and had many adventures along the way. Stronghold is a curious name. How did you come by it? A name from my mercenary days. I was known to hold the line and never break, and to close the gaps when others fled. What darkness have you seen in the city? Murders, disappearances, intolerance, hate, the clash of the old and the new. All this is happening within your walls. It makes me wonder if the ruin the sage is meant to save us from is close at hand. If it is, then I must find him quickly and stop telling tales in taverns. Okay, so I won't stop Good you. Good luck on your adventures, friends. Thank you. I hope you find what you seek. Who? Oh, hello! I don't suppose you have any stories? 
Farron Brigo is the name, impresario of theatrical entertainments and pageants of the mind. My company and I have performed before kings and queens on village greens and everything in between. What sort of entertainment? We tell stories of all kinds, from tall tales of knights and thieves and bards, to poignant parables set in a world beyond the end of the world, to epics of gods and monsters, and those who wonder if they might be both. You have a company? In my 40 years practicing my chosen trade, I have had the privilege of working with some of the finest magicians, storytellers, craftsmen and artists the world has ever known. And it has been our continued pleasure to create together new and wondrous worlds for our audience to explore. Brygo is an interesting name. Where are you from? My family were bankers in the land of the Golden Sun, but I left that trade to follow my love of art and storytelling and entertaining the people. I have never regretted it. You are seeking stories. I'm working on a new entertainment as we speak, about a band of bold adventurers trying to stop ancient evils from destroying the world, and I'm looking for inspiration. It occurred to me that the Adventurers Guild would be a good place to find some. Mm, maybe in the past. Not anymore. Good talking to you. See you again. Welcome, adventurer. We are the review board of the Adventurers Guild. Before you can be allowed to learn certain skills or follow certain paths, your progress must be reviewed to be certain that you are worthy. You will know when to return to us. We look forward to seeing you then. Okay, thank you. Farewell, adventurer. Thank you. Give me a moment, Rabbi. I'm not done quite yet. Oh, there. I don't suppose you'd be interested in buying or selling a soul now, would you? Who are you? Lar is the name. Lar of Revelon, at your service. You deal in souls? That's right. Usually do brisk business, but not having much luck here. How is selling souls going? Haven't made a sale in days. Everyone down here in Scarabray below seems to have one already. Not an empty vessel among you. Up in the new city, of course, almost no one has a soul. I could make a killing up there, but it's too dangerous. What with the Fatherites running things, my sort of business is a... Uh, frowned upon. And how's buying souls going? Plenty of souls down here to choose from. But no one seems in a selling mood. Too busy fighting the good fight, or some such nonsense. Think I'll have to move on to some place where the people are more beset with ennui. Boredom always helps the market. I can imagine that. Okay. Nice that talking an interesting with fight. you. Adventure sells the almanac. Oh. Okay. Scent of wine, taste of ale, secret sign, secret tales. Scent of wine. Scent, taste of ale. I don't think we have any. Water, Malefian Essence, um, Sugar, Healing Potion, no we don't have any, never mind. <sighs> Welcome to Roscoe's, but I want you to know this is not the Emporium. I'm only here selling this rubbish because the Emporium has been flattened by a giant and occupied by Trow. Now, how can I help you? You're Roscoe. Yes, yes, the seventh of that name, and the first, Fian helped me, to abandon the store. Even in the aftermath of Tarzan's destruction, my ancestors kept the doors open, while I... 
I'm a disgrace to the name. Tell us about your emporium. The rarest, most exclusive collection of magical and mystical items, elixirs and ingredients ever assembled in Scarabray. Now pounded into rubble and occupied by trow mercenaries who are ambushing every poor practitioner who comes through the door looking for me. It is an intolerable situation. My reputation and I... Oh, just a moment. I don't suppose you... Oh, but of course you would. What adventurer wouldn't? What adventurer wouldn't what? Ah, well, when I escaped the Emporium, I happened to take with me a lantern of illusion. If you could drive out the trow that currently occupy the Emporium, then set the lantern on the hook outside the door, it will make the place impossible for undesirables to find until I can return and clean it up a bit. After that, if you find yourself in need of best quality magical merchandise, why, I would gratefully sell it to you for a deep, deep discount. What do you see? Discount, you say? Sure. Excellent. Then here is the lantern, and here is the location of the Emporium. Be careful, though. There are a lot of trow there, and they aren't the friendly sort. Thank you for coming to Roscoe's. Please, come again. All I gathered from that was a word. Discount, so, yeah. I knew you'd come forward, hero. Now, listen. Seems the raid on the Adventurers Guild was just one attack among many today. There's atrocities happening all over Scarabray. And Dalgleish, Ringneck and the Green Lady, who you met during the fighting, have gone to look into some of them. I promised I'd send help if I could find any. Would you look for them and give them a hand? I guess I have no choice. But you know what, I'm gonna end this part here, so for now thank you very much, stay alive and see you soon. Bye.